welcome back to underwater math my name is farmer willie and this is my pig named petunia that is going to help us today hello everyone today we'll be teaching you how to measure length using rulers let's go here is a ruler rulers usually have four units of measurement millimeters centimeters inches and feet on this ruler each inch is broken apart into four parts that means each line represents one-fourth of an inch. To measure an object, first, always make sure you line up your object starting at the zero-inch mark, or wherever the ruler begins. Then, look at where your object reaches on the ruler. For example, this celery is one inch long. This carrot is two inches. This corn is one-fourth inch between two and three inches, so it's two and one-fourth inches. This beat is at the three-fourths mark between zero and one so it is three-fourths of an inch. This asparagus is three inches and the head of lettuce is two inches. Let's look at a problem Farmer Willie. Sure. These pencils all have different measurements in inches. Which pencil measures three and three-fourths inches long? Let's see. I'm going to measure each pencil to be certain. Pencil A measures three and one-fourth inches. Pencil B measures three and a half inches. They keep getting longer. So I bet the next pencil will be it. Pencil C measures three and three fourths inches long. Great job Petunia. Remember when you are using rulers to measure length, line up your object at the zero inch mark and look at where your object reaches on the ruler. Check what units you're measuring in as well. Thank you and thanks for joining us today to learn how to measure using rulers. Keep practicing.